If you're not trail braking properly when sim racing, you're leaving lots of time on the table and making the car more difficult to drive. In this video, I'm going to explain why trail braking is so important in sim racing and how you can improve your performance by trail braking properly. Hi, I'm Scott Mansell from Driver61 Sim Racing, where we teach you to better your technique, improve your performance, win races, and fulfill your driving potential. Now, first of all, we're going to be looking at some footage where the trail braking could be improved slightly, and there's some room to actually soften off how we work on the brakes. So let's take a look at this footage. And what we're looking for here is, is actually to look at the braking trace just down here um, as we're in iRacing here. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna slow the footage down so that you can see exactly what the process should look like when we're, um, when we're trail braking. But the whole point of trail braking is to control the front of the car, um, not to let it pop up too quickly. If you watch this footage here, and we're watching the, 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 the braking pressure just down in the bottom left of the corner, you can see we've got brake pressure here, and then all of a sudden, the brake pressure disappears. So let me just rewind it just slightly. You can see here, as we're coming down into Stowe at Silverstone, we've got a constant brake pressure, which is correct. We should be using the brakes as much as possible when we're in a straight line, um, because the car isn't needing to turn. So that means that you can use all of the tires grip uh, for deceleration, for braking, because we're not needing to do that turn. However, we then turn the car in and Stefan here just very quickly releases the brakes. Now, if you think about the, the dynamics of the car, what's happening is we're braking in a straight line at the maximum force so that the, the front is being driven into the track, the front's got lots of grip. But then all of a sudden he just pops up off the brake pedal and the front of the car, because of the spring pushing the body back up again, it lifts the front up and takes all of the weight and therefore the grip out of the front of the car. Now what you'll find here when this happens, um, the car will generally understeer. Um, you might turn it in and if the nose is still down quite heavily, you'll have some oversteer, but then when you pop up off the brakes, the car will probably understeer. And the issue with this is, first of all, we're not using all of each tire's maximum grip as we're entering the corner here because we, we, we'll be getting that understeer, but also it makes the car quite difficult to drive because all of a sudden, when you pop up off the brake pedal, the balance shifts very quickly. So imagine we kind of, we, we've got more grip at the front when we're braking in a straight line, and then all of a sudden pop up and the, the grip actually moves to the rear of the car, the weight and the grip moves to the rear of the car, and therefore it shifts very quickly, which makes the, the platform of the car very difficult to predict as you're entering the corner. So what do we do about this and, and how should we be trail braking um, into, into a corner? Well, we're going to jump into some other footage now to really try and understand how we, how we should do this and what the trail braking process looks like. So here we are on board with another one of our subscribers um, at the Nürburgring this time. Now, we're in some different software, so we need to look at the, the, the trail braking down here. But watch the, watch the red uh, display at the bottom just down here, and you'll see that when this driver is coming out of the brake pedal, they're doing it in a much more smooth way. So that was a great example there, coming into um, the left-hander here. Let me just rewind the footage just slightly. You'll see that we're, we're, we're braking quite heavily here, but as we turn the car into the corner, the brake pressure is releasing to, to, to quite a light point, maybe 40% of the maximum pressure. Now this is controlling the front of the car, it's keeping the front of the car nice and tight, keeping the load there, and most importantly, it isn't just removing all of the grip from the front of the car. And it's keeping that brake pressure on all the way down, almost into the apex, and that keeps the car nice and tight all the way down there. If you were just to jump out of the brake pedal, then the front would release and would understeer. Now, this point in the, 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 the trail braking as you're, as you're entering the corner dictates the balance of the car. So you imagine we're coming in, and for example here, we've got maybe 30% brake pressure. 
If the car's understeering as it's coming into the corner, actually the next lap or even, even within um, the entry phase of this corner, if you just increased very, very gently the brake pressure, it would drop a little bit more weight and a little bit more grip to the front of the car and it would give it, give it more grip, it would give it more front balance. However, if you turn the car in and it oversteered at this point, it actually need to get out of the brake pedal just a fraction. We're not talking jumping out of the brake pedal. We're talking just easing up off the brakes a little bit. That will then distribute more grip to the rear because it would allow the front of the car to come up very gently and, uh, and balance the car. So what we're looking for here is the maximum braking in a straight line and then easing up off the brakes to this magic point where the car's perfectly balanced as we're turning the car into the corner. And then that allows us to use all of each tire's grip all the way through the entry to the corner. You do this and you'll find a massive amount of time on the brakes and into the apex because you'll actually have generated more overall grip for your car. Now that you understand how to trail brake, check out this short playlist that I've put together that includes other information about how to be faster on track. You can check out the video just up here. I'll see you in the next one.